Hello and good morning, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Sagittarius, thank you so very much for all your likes to the videos and for your subscriptions. Welcome to you new subscribers. Sagittarius, I don't know what's up with Saggy's energy, but I found myself saying, why is this always happening to Sag? So let's see what the truth is there. Because when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I'm like, why is this always happening to Sagittarians? Sagittarius. Someone's got their head in the clouds because mm, there is a wolf in sheep's clothing around you. Somebody is trying to block your winnings or trying to block someone from coming toward you. Someone has created a fake account. There is a wolf in sheep's clothing around you. Hmm. I think you ran. <laughs> they think that they lost their chance with you or you did. Uh, Sag, see, we got some kind of love triangle going on. Now, that doesn't have to be um, sexual either, but it could very well be. Hmm. Like, you're winning here, Saj. It's like you're hitting the jackpot, or at least this person is thinking that you are winning some kind of freaking money here. I think that you ran from this person, or spirit's telling you to run. And I keep getting that energy of people spying on you all the time, Saj. Now, could be a masculine energy. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. Hmm. So there is a loyal heart here, but there are two people in this picture and maybe they're like going like you ran because you're going this is not for me I am not dealing with no third party crap it's just I'm not doing it round and round and round There is a masculine energy, a loyal heart that sees you as their milk and honey. And I think this person is stepping in, well, stepping forward because there is some kind of treasure here. Sagittarius, this could be actually you winning some money. This could be you getting your milk and honey. You may be purchasing a home or something like that, but this someone sees you as very stable, the milk and honey treasure island here. Hmm. Somehow you may have gotten some sudden wealth or some kind of hit the financial jackpot. I 
think there's a masculine energy going, this is not for me. They were between worlds. Yeah, now their actions have created some kind of tower. What's going on here? Envy. Ah. Someone's envious of your treasures, Sagittarius. Adjacent possibilities, huh? Hmm. I told you the door to personal happiness and healing is here. Patience, temperance, balance, that's Sagittarian energy. So you're getting some kind of financial jackpot here, Sag. I don't know how. Because uh, you've opened the door to spirit. Spirit's opening doors for you. Oh, my. The door to value is here, Saj. Money. Spirit's opening the door to something huge financially for you. And this person is strategizing. This is a king of coin. Hmm. Community, huh? Mm. Somebody may be strategizing how to heal a situation with you because you're blossoming and you're abundant, Saj. Oh, careful, careful. Someone is the magician in the mirror here. Hmm. I'm not sure if it is people around this king of coin who is envious. But there is a community who is strategizing. I don't like it, Zaj. <clears throat> what are the intentions here, Spirit? Sacred plan, transformation, take charge, take action. What's this? Ah. Hmm. What is the intentions of this person, spirit? Who is this um, community? It's about communication. Is somebody is strategizing.
No, see, I don't like it. Someone is strategizing. Someone is broke here or the option that they chose was they're not doing very well financially. Someone is talking shit about you. Talking about your work. They're being secretive. Because they're going through a tower. This is some kind of someone thinks it's unfair that you've been given this all this wealth. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Keep your back up, Saj. Keep your things, your moves a secret, your work a secret, because somebody is strategizing. Someone finds, it's a queen of sword energy, who is talking about your work, talking about you behind your back, and they're saying unfair things. They think it's unfair that you're getting all this wealth. You may have hit the jackpot. Yeah, they're talking shit, talking about your work, talking about your wealth, and trying to block your stability. So, someone's, uh, Someone's got Yes. Someone is thinking it's unfair that you're getting all this wealth and somebody's trying to stop it. You may have blocked communication with somebody or there has been some kind of delays. I don't know, Saj. I don't like the energy. I kept saying, why is this always happening to Saj? Why is there always somebody trying to work against Sagittarius? Let me ask that question. Why is there always someone trying to work against Sagittarius? Because somebody is always judging you. Creating challenges and obstacles. It's drama starting. This is the magician in the mirror again. This is someone manipulative. Trying to strategize. Trying to create problems for Saj. I don't know. They're in their ego.
your stability somebody wants what you have Sagittarius and they are deliberately causing some kind of interference they are the magician in the mirror Hmm. They are such. Somebody is deliberately manifesting problems. Someone is in their ego, very materialistic. Ah, huh. it's to do with connections, Sagittarius. Huh. Close friends of this person. It's not even this person. It's not Sag, it's not even this person. It's like people around this person. There is someone around a person in your life, someone you're close to. who is deliberately deliberately strategizing to get what you have Sagittarius and they're using this person to do it Huh. This is causing insomnia. This is causing paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep. Sagittarius, it's not even your person. There is a group. Of people that want what you have. Your person, whoever this is, I when I say your person, Sagittarius, it doesn't even have to be your person. There's someone around you that you're close to. That is strategizing. How to get your wealth. I'm sorry. It's here. Because look at you, single, confident, abundant, wealthy. You are getting some kind of wealth. It's like you hit the jackpot. Sagittarius, but Spirit is saying they got a sacred plan here. So they know what's going on behind the scenes, that somebody is being the magician in the mirror, pulling off a smoke screen. Hmm. 
you're receiving sudden wealth. That's a sacred plan. Maybe you're purchasing like some real estate or being very abundant. Maybe you're buying a new home. Maybe you've scored sudden wealth and there's someone around you. Not the person you know directly, but the people around them are strategizing, calculating how to get this money. Trying to block your abundance. I'm telling you right now, Saj. Because they're, they're unstable. Financially. Now, this is some kind of distance here. Or someone who you have to travel... You could be moving. You could be moving or traveling or going far away. You could have moved, Sag, or you're thinking of moving. You're thinking of purchasing a home or purchasing real estate somewhere far away. Hmm. Hmm. So someone is acting Hmm. 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 I don't like the energy set. I knew someone was sneaky. Someone is strategizing. planning they're strategizing this is a fake there are fake people around whoever this is that's close to you planning on a fortune here planning on how to sneak they might come off like they're really friendly but they got a strategy you know what i mean 
like this could be friends around someone you know or family Holy crap. So this person it's their friends or their family group who is strategizing such So this is truth and clarity, waiting to tell you the truth, thinking about the truth, thinking about telling you the truth. Someone very greedy is spying on you. Trying to gather information. Someone sees your growth and sees your success. I told you there's someone greedy here. You may have started it like a new business, Sagittarius, or you may be purchasing a new home or getting this sudden wealth by whatever you do for your work or some kind of inheritance, some kind of sudden money coming towards you. And it could have been you started a new business or a new idea or a new life for yourself. You are celebrating a lot of financial wealth. Hmm. Whoever this <clears throat> group, it's a community. So whatever group that this is, it's around this person that you know that you have a close relationship with. It's almost like they're using this person to get to you. Uh -huh. hmm. So the person that you're close to, oh my God, could be like a father energy or someone very, you know, they could be have a lot of earth energy to them. They're very loving. They're very kind. They're, they're an empath. They are a masculine empath. They're very grounded. They're very stable. Whoa. See, they don't know they're being betrayed. They don't know that they're being betrayed. They may know or suspect that they're being betrayed, but they are being backstabbed. There is someone around this person who is very loving, who is very sincere, who is, this person you know, I don't know if it's a lover or a child or a family member, there is someone very loving very sincere who is getting betrayed backstabbed so it's almost like this person who's ever around them are strategizing how to capitalize on your wealth 
It is a community. It is a scheme, a plot, a plan of betrayal. You're a leader. You're not even looking at this. You're just looking at your future. You are looking at your future potentials. You may be, you know, entering into some kind of real estate contract or doing something with your business or something like that that's acquiring a lot of wealth. Ah, see, and it's around someone you care about, someone that you love or are close to. They could be within your family, but there's another group of people outside of this person who does love you, who is very genuine and sincere, but they are being betrayed, backstabbed by a group of people who are scheming and plotting and planning how to get your abundance. So they're using this person as a means to get to you, Satch. This person is very protective. They are very defensive. It's almost like this, this person is could be mourning the loss of somebody. And it's someone is taking advantage of somebody here. It's not you, Sagittarius, but they're using this person who you care about to access you somehow. Mm -hmm. Because they're jealous and they're envious. Angry. Aggressive. These people are not to be trusted, Spirit saying. Because this person is genuine, Sagittarius. They have good intentions, whoever this person is around you. Now, it could be uh, someone very close to you. It does not have to be a lover. It is someone who is genuine, who is sincere. This person is sincere. But they got to learn not to trust these people because the people around them are backstabbing them, strategizing how they can capitalize somehow on your wealth. And it could be this person. The King of Swords, the Queen of Swords started it. The King of Swords is the one doing the betrayal. These are either friends or family members around the person you care about doing this. Because you are, this person has a lot of respect for you, not these people that are around this person. The person I am talking about is a protector, is someone genuine, is someone sincere, who has a lot of respect and honor for you. respects you but behind the scenes there are culprits there is the queen of swords concocting some kind of plan doing this and it could be their husband doing this they are backstabbing this person that is close to you it is a strategy Hmm. 
Hmm. I told you. There is someone trying to control a situation here. Someone is... Okay, you're a hit. <laughs> That's as simple as it gets. Sagittarius, you're getting blessed. You're getting all this success, all this attention, all of this limelight here. This person has nothing but respect and honor for you. They're proud of you. They are proud of you. But there is someone around this person. I don't know if this is your child. I don't know if this is someone you're close to in your family. But there is a group of people around them that are trying to control a situation. They're, they're backstabbing <clears throat> this person behind their back. Hmm. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, Saj. This person here that I am talking about is genuine, is sincere. They have nothing but honor and respect toward you. But there is a group of people around this person who are trying to dominate this person, trying to use this person to gain access to your fortune. It started with the Queen of Swords, and this could be their partner, the King of Swords. There is a group that is against this person. They are betraying and backstabbing this person that you care about. It's their way of getting control. They want to control somehow this wealth. Because the person that you care about, Saj, they're genuine. They genuinely respect and honor you, admire you. They think the world of you. Take that as it resonates. It could be someone in your family. It could be a lover. But there is a group of people orchestrating a betrayal behind this person's back. And it's almost like they want to do this to control this. It is over jealousy and it is over envy. It is a warning, Spirit is saying. This is someone calculating. This is someone shrewd. Who is pretending to be well-intended. But they're not.
They do not have good intentions. It's not your person or it's not the person that you are coming to this reading about. It could be a family member who really respects you. They're genuine. They're sincere. They're not the issue. It's a group of people around this person. It could be a couple, a king and queen of swords, who are backstabbing the person you care about. Who does care about you? It's like they have an ultimate strategy, an ultimate goal of how to take over this person's life or this abundance, these finances. They're trying to be controlling. They want to control it. They want to control the outcome. They want to control, they want to have control of this person to get control of you. But Spirit is saying they got a sacred plan for this, these envious people. Now it is a triangle. It does not have to be a love triangle, like a sexual triangle. They're just envious people scheming, plotting, planning how to control this person. They're betraying him. They're backstabbing them. They don't care about this person. They care about the wealth. <laughs> And it's looking like Sagi got it. It's a group of people. They're up to no good. Whoever this person is that we are talking about, Sad, you care for this person. You love this person. So they could be someone in your own family that is very genuine, is very sincere. They have nothing but admiration and respect for you, admire you. But there is a group of people around this person who have bad intentions. Jealous and envious. It's a warning. You know, they always say if the devil can't get in the front door, he tries to go through the back door. And that's what these people are trying to do. Go through the back door. By using people you care about. Who care about you. Wow. Mm-hmm. Careful, Saji. Be sharp as a whip. I know you are. Because you are winning the jackpot here somehow. You are on your way to some good karma, some good fortune. There is a group of people working around someone you care about who cares about you to get access and control of this wealth. Somehow they want a piece. They're strategizing. How am I going to get a piece of the pie? Mm -hmm. Time to... There is wolf in sheep's clothing around you, Saj, around this person. Troublemakers, drama starters. You're this person you care about 
is getting backstabbed. And like I said, I'm not even feeling like it's not a lover for all of you. It's a family member. It is not a lover for some of you. It's someone who cares about you genuinely, who you genuinely care about. This person has nothing but good intentions, but there's a group of people working around them that have very bad intentions. Strategizing, I'm telling you, Saj, um, <clears throat> Saj is like, run! <laughs> Run! Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. I told you. It's like, how can I get access? How can I get my foot in the door? There's probably you're going to be hearing some type of gossip or rumors. Don't believe it, Saj. Uh, the person in question is telling you the truth, is being very genuine and sincere. There is a some people around this person who are envious, trying to figure out how to get their foot in the door. How they can somehow intertwine themselves to this person and get them all tied up, um, entanglements, like how to entangle them. Oh, they're strategizing a way to get their foot in the door to your wealth. I, I, I mean, real such. And using someone you care about to do it. It's important. Yes, see? You're going to have to really trust your intuition here. It's not the person you care about. It's who's around them. They may be trying to create hostility, anger, resentment. You know what I mean? Make you angry at this person or make this person angry at you. It's a strategy. Trying to hurt them. Don't care if they hurt them. It's okay. Spirit's got a plan to tie these people up. Whoa. Uh, these people are con artists. If they're trying to control the situation and Archangel Michael is keeping an eye on them. Mm -hmm. The universe got a strategy for these people. They're trying to intertwine themselves, Sagittarius, to use this person to get to you. In entanglements. You know what I mean?
Hmm. Cause you something to do with your stability or your home. Hmm. Like I said, you appreciate this person and this person appreciates you and everything that you have done for this person, but there is some conspiracy going on behind the scenes. It's not this person that you care about. Well, they love you and you love this person, so it doesn't have to be a romantic love situation. Mm. They're genuine. And you are blossoming and abundant and solid foundation. You are like home. You are the rock here. Hmm. I don't know. Somebody is deliberately trying to cause some heartbreak here. Hmm. This is patience. This is balance. This is Saggy's own energy. It's someone who you care about. Someone who appreciates you. You appreciate this person. So if that's not an ex-lover, that's not an ex-lover. But I can tell you it's someone you care about who cares about you. Hmm. I told you that there is somebody around this connection that is very angry and hostile. Damn, Saj. Because they're envious. See, I told you, this is a relationship. Now, it could also be talking about the person around you. Who you care for. This could be your own child or a relation of yours. Someone who you're close to. Who you care about. Who cares about you. It could be their relationship. And someone working as an adversary against their connection. I don't know. But either way, whoever this is. Whoever you're affiliated with. They're looking at your wealth and they're jealous and they're envious because of this connection somehow. Or jealous and envious of their connection, of their relationship. If you have adult children, there's someone around in the background shit disturbing, causing trouble, causing drama because they are jealous and envious and they are the magician. They're an illusionist. They are deliberately creating drama. Mm. They're trying to come in between uh, somebody's relationship, put it that way, whether it be a love relationship, whether it be your relationship, or someone you care about deeply's relationship. 
there's somebody up to no freaking good. Creating hostility, creating resentment, creating rumors, creating gossip to destroy whoever this person is and their relationship. Take care.